About a hundred years ago, Nikola Tesla invented a turbine engine. The rotor consisted of many thin plates placed side by side with the shaft going through the center of them. Steam was forced between the plates, which caused the rotor to spin. The air and steam then exhausted through the openings near the center of the plates. The design was also used in reverse as a pump. The technology has become fairly well known and is used in commercial pumps, although to my knowledge it still is not being used commercially as a gas burning engine or a steam engine. Victor Schauberger, known as the Water Wizard of Austria, was a forest ranger and studied the flow and characteristics of water. He also invented a turbine, in some ways very similar to the Tesla turbine. It consisted of two copper plates placed a small distance apart. These plates had circular ridges in them. Reportedly, it could begin to auto-rotate after being spun up to a certain RPM. It then would operate similar to a jet engine, with air as its only fuel. He also used his knowledge to invent other devices, such as a home electrical generator. This is a design of my own, very similar to the Schauberger turbine. Here I'm showing a cross section of the turbine assembly. Air flows down through the center of the assembly and through the slots in the top plate, then between the plates to the edges. This happens because as the plates are spun around a center shaft, centrifugal force draws the air through the plates. This creates a vacuum at the center and creates air flow over the airfoils at the rim. As you can see, it is double-sided and has three plates on each side rather than the traditional two plates. Another difference in my design is that the air comes in through the center hole around the shaft besides through slots in the upper and middle plates. This increases the volume of available air. I designed a custom impeller to help direct the flow of air into the plates. These are on both sides of the turbine because it is a double turbine, having a set of plates on both sides of the flywheel. Obviously, the air gap between the plates will have to be tested and adjusted for optimum results. The airfoil fins at the outer rim of the flywheel are designed to increase rotation of the turbine. This version is not designed to have any axial thrust. This was designed as an auto-rotating turbine engine, only requiring air as a fuel. Compressed air would be used to spin up the turbine to auto-rotation speed of about 1500 RPM. A magnetic brake and also a secondary mechanical brake would be used to control speed of rotation. An alternator generator would be connected to the shaft to convert the rotational energy to electrical energy.